collaborate with the winners of Britain's Got Talent 2014 and in that time they got to perform at the Royal Variety Performance. But what else have the guys been up to? Here's what happened when I fought them. Hello guys! Hi! Hello! Hello. Hello. How is everyone? Good, yeah, it's going well. Fabulous. Now the last time I saw you guys, I put you on the spot and said, do you think you've got what it takes to win Britain's Got Talent? We are kind of like a week away from the final, a couple of days. Do you feel you've got what it takes to win Britain's Got Talent? One word to put you on the spot, yes or no? Yes! Yes! yes. 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 You said yes. And you went on to do it. And we did it. Yeah. And you did it. So you believed in your performance. It's because I read the bones. <laughs> oh, I think, I think, oh, Jamie, no. I think you need to tell the story. No. So, yeah. We were in Nando's and I used to eat whole chickens. Used to. And, uh, still, 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 still do. Still do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they're uncooked. And then um, basically, ate really? it in Nando's and there was this chicken carcass on the table. And I was like, right, okay, I'm going to read the bones. Do you think we're going to win Britain's Battalion? Picked it up and chucked it on the table. It was and I was like, yes! Yeah. And what I didn't realise was the waitress was just telling me right That's now. so bad. And she was just furious. Are you finished? Yes, yeah. are you finished? Oh, no. I was like, yes. The yes. bones didn't Thank actually you. spell the word yes or anything. No, it was no. just Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's got any questions. Got some superpowers. Yeah, yeah bones. Look into the future. Yep. And you know, you must have believed in yourselves and also each other, which was really nice to see, because when I met you the last time, we had been together for four months, so you yeah. went up there and I felt that you could really feel the bond between you guys, you're like brothers, so you're almost like two years in now. Are you arguing yet? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think this, what's happened is we probably went through a bit of a stage where you know we got on each other's nerves and this lot. But actually now because we all know how to deal with each other yeah. and everyone knows what makes people happy and what makes us you know and when people need space and things, we all just get on so well. And when we do have discussions, we literally can just tell each other everything. So yeah. we just literally there say how we feel rule. and move on. There's, There's one, one rule we have, which is that we never share hotel rooms. Don't you? No, <laughs> no because never. we spend all day, every day with each other. So I think we just kind of need everybody needs. Also, three of the guys have long-term girlfriends, yeah, exactly. so they they like to go okay. and like chat I, the I girls think it's the only phone. been like that since we were in Blackpool and I part of the whole thing of moisturising. No, 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 right. right. We had a gig in Blackpool so before Britain's Got Talent. Right. Um, it's like a it's like a kind of practice gig for our stuff before we went on and um we haven't even rehearsed stars by then no, we? no we were like this is like the first week of our lives as Cairo and um they introduced us first as Cali Calibro Calypso Calibro oh, Calypso Calypso there have been so many variations so many my favourite's been uh Colbaro Colbaro oh, but anyway we um three Michael and Tom were in one room and then me Matt and Rich were in another and I had this I was driving so they gave me the doorbell which was very nice and they had a bunk bed Oh. And um, I walked in, and we just had it. Was the funniest night, wasn't it? Because basically, I on my pillow was this chocolate, and um, <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god, this is really exciting!" And so I opened it up and ate it, and thought it was white chocolate, but it was a bar of soap. No, <laughs> so, it wasn't on your pillow either. Don't lie. It was yeah. in the bathroom. It was in the bathroom, and you but picked up the thought, first bite. I like, was like, "You thought it was a yeah. white chocolate?" Oh my god! But all of these guys were howling, laughing, and, laughing, and, and, and then basically we got back, and we were all a bit. We went night out, and then. Um, I got back and Matt had like squeezed my entire tub of moisturiser into my bed when I hadn't realised right. and I was just too, too drunk. I would have been furious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was furious. I offered Matt some tea and he said, a day to drop. No, can I tell it? Yeah. <laughs> so, so I was in the top bunk and Richard was in the bottom and I was already just getting into bed and Richard, it, was a cup, it wasn't even a hot cup of tea, it was just a cup of tea that had been made earlier on, we'd left it. And Richard picked it up and then put it up to the bunk bed and he went, Matt, would you like some tea? And I just went, just drop it on the floor, day, just drop it, and he just went... Oh my gosh, you rock stars! Yeah. You rock stars! Yeah. Yeah. Not quite throwing a TV out the window, Can't but... Like, yeah, this so was the just point, yeah, this <laughs> is the point when Michael and I were really glad we were in the other room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's before Richard started actually like full-on body slamming me from the top of the bus bed. <laughs> oh my and then, gosh! And then we run downstairs and all boxes just like... Yeah. But this is after you won Britain's Got Talent. No, no, no. This is before. This is before. Are you being boosted? No, no, not really. No. Yeah. Now, speaking of Britain's Got Talent, like, you know, you were all so emotional. The last time I saw you, more so Jamie, I think, was more emotional. I was emotional. When you won and your name was announced, what did you think? Was it like 100 times? I don't know if you've emotional? seen that hideous picture of the When you're like, yeah, oh, all of a sudden. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, well, basically, I think that was like, they, I think they came to me um, to ask me whether I was feeling alright now, and I was like, don't worry. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. oh, no, because I thought they had medics. Oh, yeah, stand stand by. You. When yeah. we did our final performance, they had standby medics going, he's going to faint, he's going to faint, watch it, watch it. I definitely wasn't. But it's because my sister is my sister's a medic oh. and she was chatting to the chief medic afterwards who says that basically all the way through after we won, they they like the whole team backstage generally thought I was gonna collapse. And I wasn't that bad. Like I was emotional, but I wasn't like fainting. You weren't close to just 
<laughs> well, no, but the, but when you do, when you run off and then just fall on the floor at the back of the stage, what? Of course, for consent, right? Mm. Perhaps, and yeah. course for consent. It was great though, because afterwards we we just had people following us around with like champagne bottles and yeah. topping us up and stuff like oh, that. Right. Oh, that was yeah. cool. How many glasses of champagne did you have? Just this one. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite bit of that winning night was we were outside the porter cabins outside, and they were all like kind of joined together by these metal poles. And I was talking to Rich, and he was like. I was like, I was like, are you falling asleep? And you think he was like, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then basically, he, he like, he hiccuped. He, he was like, <clears throat> and then turned round and <laughs> walked straight into this metal oh, pole. I and I, the pole <laughs> definitely came off worse because he just then stood up and walked away. Didn't like, you apologise <laughs> to him? I said sorry. Is that Dr. Mark? Sorry. Did you do your manners? Exactly. Did you do your manners? And Matt, what was it like? You know, singing. Sorry, she called you that. Screamed at the end. Matt, what was it like? Royal variety performance. I mean, in front of the royal family, were you nervous? Yeah, <laughs> we were. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. No, it, was really, it was really good, but we were, we were very nervous. And Michael had a bit of a story about that, didn't he? He, he sort of just said to the only thing that was said to Kate was that she looked stunning. Oh. But he, he sort of blurted yeah. it. You're not really meant to say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got to say Sir to Prince William and Ma'am to Kate. But obviously, it was their first year, so yeah, we so were making right. our debut. They were making their debut, so I thought, you know. She doesn't know what to expect yet. So they, so feel, just, they feel just like us. Yeah, oh, so they, so they know what we're the same boat. Yeah. 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 They were yeah. lovely. Oh. William had gone past and, and said, wish you every success, you guys have great voices. And then oh. Kate came past and she said, oh, what's next for Calabra? And we told them about our amazing tour that we've yeah. obviously been on now. Um, and then she was just about to walk away and I said, can I just say that you look absolutely stunning? Because obviously she was four months pregnant at the yeah. time. And she Waited looked, until she William was out, was out of earshot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she looked back and she went, well, you look fantastic. And I say that she pointed at me, but she sort of addressed. She went, she went like that. She didn't go like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were sort of last part in the yeah. 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 And I want to talk a bit about the first album, Stars. I mean, it's done so well. Number one, you know, success, state size. What was it like? Was it, has it been, have you kind of... Taking it all on board. I mean, obviously we got we had number one back in August, and that was just unbelievable. And yeah. then since then, it's just been just an absolute roller coaster. Obviously, Michael said we had a sound tour. Yeah. Um, we uh, we went to Hong Kong, which ended up yeah. us going to Japan, uh, which we've recently come back from, and it just went crazy over there. We were on a, um, a TV program called a Music Station, and uh, it goes out to about 20 million people. And after that, we just couldn't walk the streets because people oh just were like like wanted pictures and things like that uh, but we're going back out there because it went so well we're going back yeah. out there in November to do a tour of Japan oh, wow. just signed a deal in America um, with Sony Masterworks um, so we're going out there in July doing a show in, in New York and LA um, obviously bringing out the second album June the 1st and we might be going to Australia and oh. New Zealand uh, in August when you put it all like that it's like, like, so like, 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 Oh, we don't. All of this in like two years, <laughs> like about yeah, it's coming up. It's only less, so much less, it's less, less, less than, than yeah. eighteen yeah. months. Yeah. We, we, mm -hmm. we won it. We won uh, Britain's Got Talent last June, June, June yeah. the seventh. Okay. And actually, when it comes full circle around this year, we'll be performing at the uh, Royal Albert Hall. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. I actually saw them. Yeah, yeah. really. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So so we lovely. And can you tell me a bit about this new album? Is it going to be how different is it going to be to the first one? Um, the the biggest thing about this album actually is the way we chose the songs was um, we put on Facebook and Twitter and social media what would you our collaborators like to see on the album and obviously it came back with hundreds and hundreds of suggestions <laughs> but um, there were some uh, that you know came up uh, time and time again mm -hmm. and we picked maybe twenty really good numbers out of those and demoed them all and then picked the very 10 best of those yeah. and that's what's on the album so it really is kind of an album by the fans for the fans. Mm. And social networking has really played a massive part for you guys because some of you met via you know, YouTube and yeah, stuff yeah. and then all well, the collaborators and then obviously wow. asking what they want on the second album, it really is, you are all you know, yeah. like family with your collaborators aren't you? It's fantastic, our collaborators got us here and we just love them, I mean we had some outside waiting for us today, I mean Oh, they were there for you guys, but they're yeah. for me! No. <laughs> Strutting in, flicking, oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe next year. No, we love them. We, we have a, a good group of fans that like to follow everything we do. Uh, but no, we'd be nowhere without the, the collaborators, the fans. And I mean, social media-wise, I mean, obviously music's now digitally available. Mm. And we're actually really shocked for the sort of music we do. Yeah. We actually have a huge digital um, fan base as well. Um, they actually say that, you know, people compare us to all Devo. Yeah. And their digital online purchases of music is actually only a couple of percent, but ours could be up to 15, 20 percent. And so that's really cool that we sort of reach all those, all those areas. In fact, on tour we had a 
three generations of families coming in. Oh. So we had the daughter, the mother, and the, the grandmother. grandmother. And they were all like, we all love Calabra. And we just sort of thought that's great. So oh. we're oh, doing well so online. Sweet. And you're <laughs> back on Britain's Got Talent for the same time yes. as well. Are you yeah. nervous or are you all right about it now? Uh, it before? It's going to be nice to go back. It's quite exciting, yeah. yeah. It's going to be nice to go back as an act. Yeah. Um, rather than just a, like, a contestant. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna really enjoy it. I think and we're gonna have a song from the new album. Um, that's what we're gonna be performing. So we're really excited. And we've we've seen the creative. It looks pretty. Uh, yeah. We're, pretty cool. We actually had a little test run because we um, actually got invited to sing out on uh, Portugal's Got Talent, the, oh, wow. the final. Yeah. Um, so we went out there, and that was incredibly nostalgic because it's a similar set and stuff like that. But to actually be back at um, Wembley Fountain Studios and performing in front of the same judges. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be incredibly nerve wracking, but incredibly like emotional and I think we're all just going to absolutely soak in all the energy of the audience right, there's going to be so, so many different things that oh, you wow. sort of haven't seen I mean with what we do they sort of like to just have us stood and mm. listen really about the voices but even with this one they, they go crazy with the creative so we're really excited they're dancing Oh, oh, oh no. No. No, 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 no. we're going to have to do a ballet piece. <laughs> <laughs> and this year's Brains Got Talent, have you got any favourites? I think we've yeah. all got different yeah. ones. Actually. Yeah, um, I really like Entity, the dance group, mm. and Emma Jones because she's a fellow Cumbrian. <laughs> Not just that, she's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> she's got she's got got stick with her. She has got talent. I like uh, Jamie Raven. We actually met him before and he taught us a few magic tricks. So. Uh, Hopefully we can remember some, and if we do see him at the semi-finals, then hopefully he can show us some more. Oh. Um, Vladimir, uh, the guy who like couldn't trample him but could, um, he was just amazing. He went back to kind of um, that Lauren Hardy sort of slapstick thing. Um, so I'm really interested to see what he does with the semi-final. Uh, I'm a really big fan of the Gospel Choir, um, who's shown Raw Revelation Avenue, and they're really, really, really cool. Uh, my favourite is, uh, you know, has always been since the start, uh, the roller skating brother and sister. I just think, you know, how do you how do you top that? Where do you go from that? Yeah. I'm really excited to see what they do next. And I think we're so close to the floor when he was thinking Yeah, about I'm watching it like there? from like behind a pillow, biting teeth. No white stuff, and also mm -hmm. my favorite, actually one of my favorites, has to be Lorraine Bow in the Crumble Song. Oh, oh, no, we love that. Yeah, yeah, we love that. Yeah. But I'm good at cooking crumble. Oh. Oh. So you met her. <laughs> I met her. Yes, I did oh. last week. Actually, she's what? such a lovely lady. My, my mate um, recently did an acoustic version of that song. Yeah. Oh wow! On, on Twitter, <laughs> and she replied to it. And oh, said did it she? Right. So yeah, it's it yeah, it's pretty oh, really good. It's oh, she's such a lovely lady. Well, usually I'd say to you before you've got what it takes to win Britain's Got Talent, but you've done it already. Done it. Really. Done it. Oh. Been there, got a t-shirt. Oh, oh, thank you very much. I wish you every success. Thank, thank you. you. Stay tuned for more Britain's Got Talent info from me, Athena Dennis, for Unreality TV.